So exactly what is a quant? The reason I'm actually making this video is kind of a, I don't know, a rant, I guess you would say, about being a quant and what the word quant means. Um, if you read the book, My Life as a Quant by Emmanuel Derman, uh, he talks a little bit about uh, different aspects of being a quant working in financial engineering. Uh, it's a great read if you uh, are interested in financial engineering. Uh, but he also mentions in the book that it used to be a derogatory term used by people in finance um, to kind of categorize people that did like the math side of finance. And this was back when finance was king and um, you know quantitative methods and statistics were not as big in finance, which is now starting to change. The reason though I'm making this video is because the word quant, in my opinion, is still derogatory. However, it is used as a generic term for someone who has math ability, but it's also just abused like crazy with recruiters um, and as well as job seekers and people throughout the market. And it's pretty offensive in a lot of situations and pretty frustrating. So even working uh, through the industry, I've had scenarios where senior managers have mentioned, you know, quants as a negative term, like, you know, we'll do the real finance, we'll set up the client to have all this work. Oh, and by the way, the quants will just run these calculations for us quickly. Um, there's been other inappropriate comments made by senior management on, on using quants and how basically we're just good for calculating numbers. Um, that being said, my big pet peeve with the word quant though, besides being used in a derogatory way, is actually the fact that everybody nowadays is a quant. So I've been in the industry for only a few years now. However, when you talk to job recruiters, um, everybody has a different, different definition of what a quant is. And so this is just frustrating because you talk to one recruiter and they'll call you and tell you, you know, oh, I'm looking for like, I'm looking for like a Linux quant or a Unix quant, or I'm looking for a, um, I'm looking for a stats quant. You know, it's just this word of basically like, you're looking for someone who has statistical abilities or you're looking for someone who is a Unix programmer. The fact that you throw the word quant at the end of it means nothing. And I found people on all kinds of spectrum. So recruiters will tell you they want a quant and they have this list of requirements. Like you need to be, I don't know, a mathematician with a PhD from a top 10 school. And you need to have at least 10 years experience in programming. And they'll make all these ridiculous assumptions when in reality, the person they'll hire for that job may only have, I don't know, three years experience. Um, the resume is kind of fluffed up and they worked at a big name bank. So therefore they are the quant. Um, and also on the other side, this is offensive for people who have quantitative skills and it's somewhat kind of narrow mindedly like buckets people. So as I graduated from financial engineering, well, I graduated from Michigan with a master's in applied economics. Um, I also started off in the financial engineering program and in my mind, you know, I was a quant. Um, however, as you go through the industry, you start realizing it doesn't mean anything. It's, it's a huge marketing buzzword now of we need quants. And the reason I say this is because you have recruiters who want these ridiculous amounts of mathematics, which is completely fine because that's a definition of someone who is quantitative, which is where the word quant probably derives from. However, when it was originally coined, it was more for people who worked with buy side and sell side derivative products, someone who's calculating values of these products not necessarily someone who's just creating a generic model. Um, but again, it's, it's offensive. I find it somewhat offensive in the industry and you know, I, I just let it slide. I don't say anything, but deep down, you know, I'm kind of grinding my teeth because you have people from a spectrum of all the way from people with undergraduate degrees and just generic business. So they didn't even specialize. And in their mind, they are a quant because I don't know, they do finance, they, they do finance. And so then you have people that have business degrees and they, they think they're quants because they went to, you know, program XYZ and they took a stats class. However, when you start talking to these people, you realize basically up to OLS, there's nothing beyond that they understand, nor do they understand basic stats 
of other regressions, even basic logistic regression. Um, anyway, so in my mind, these people are not quantitative at all. The, they can't program in any type of languages. They don't use statistical software, really. Um, but again, these are like the low-end people that are claiming to be quants. However, they don't have a quantitative background, so I feel no reason to call themselves a quant. You have people that go through this entire spectrum. You have people just generic business degrees. You even have people that are like, I don't know, psychologists, but they have a PhD and they took a few stats classes. So now they are a quant somehow. And then you have people all around the high end who if you're going to use the word quant, I definitely think would apply. And these are people with more PhDs in you know, mathematics, um, master's degrees in financial engineering, where they're actually working as financial engineers. It's not the degree that makes them a quant, it's the skills they actually have that make them a quant. So again, I would urge you not to use the word quant. Um, it's so, it's, I mean, it has no meaning really today. It's quite useless. It still uses a derogatory term in many areas of finance, especially those that are older in finance. Um, so exactly what is a quant like summing up? A quant's nothing. It's just some of quantitative skills. The value's nothing. It's a buzzword. I would avoid using it. Um, if you watch my videos, I'll actually use it from time to time, though I try not to. Uh, it's just a very easy term to, to quantify um, what someone that does quantitative skills are. However, deep down, in my opinion, a quant is somebody that can do you know, a wide variety of skills. They can do mathematics, they can do statistics, they can do computer programming. Um, they understand financial markets very well. That would be a quant, in my opinion. However, in general, I would just avoid using a quant. So that's kind of it, but uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of my videos and uh, until next time. Thanks for watching my video. If you find it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.